This is the new VW ID7, the most luxurious all-electric VW yet, with an electric range that's even longer than the Tesla Model 3s. In this video, we're telling you 10 things you need to know about it. Before we start, subscribe to our channel to see our full review of the ID7 as soon as we've driven it, and go to whatcar.com for a great deal on your next car. VW has had a slightly stuttering start to its all-electric life. The VW ID3 was a fantastic electric car that was good to drive, comfortable, and had a great range between charges. But it was plagued with glitchy software issues on its terrible infotainment system and offered interior quality which didn't live up to the price tag. The ID4 and ID5 followed with similar issues and higher prices, adding up to EV products which are still off the pace compared to their quality rivals. But the fantastic ID Buzz felt like a big step forwards, and the recently revealed facelifted ID3 looks like another improvement in terms of quality and tech. And now we have the ID7. It's a large electric hatchback claimed to have been designed for long distances, and it has its sights set on electric rivals like the Model 3, the BMW i4, and the Mercedes EQE. And while it might not be obvious from the footage or the pictures, the ID7 is a very big electric car. In fact, the distance between the front and rear wheels is as long as it is in the enormous ID Buzz. So the ID7 is comfortably bigger than a Model 3, and even bigger than the EQE as well. And that means inside the ID7, it is airy up front and positively limo-like in the rear seats. We've had a chance to have a hands-on look at a pre-production ID7, and it's clear that a six-footer will easily sit behind a driver of a similar height. And three adults sat in the back will be comfortable thanks not only to the wide space available, but also the flat floor. The boot, meanwhile, is properly big with a broad hatchback opening and a handy height-adjustable boot floor. But plenty of other ID products are practical. Does the ID7 feel like a step forwards inside in terms of quality and tech? The good news is that yes, it definitely does. Interior quality is significantly better than any other ID product we've seen so far. There's a nice variety of materials ranging from perforated vegan leather on the seats to suede inserts on the doors and soft touch plastic on the dashboard. The glossy black trim is backlit, adding some visual glamour. There's a panoramic roof that switches from opaque to transparent at the touch of a button. You can have optional massage seats, and an augmented reality head-up display comes as standard. Plus, there's a new 15-inch infotainment screen which dominates the interior. But before you get too excited, it doesn't fully resolve the issues that other ID models have suffered. It's the same software which the facelifted ID3 will be getting and the touchscreen's responses are definitely snappier than before. And its huge dimensions allow you to see lots of information in one go. But software glitches remained on our pre-production car. On our test drive, the sat-nav gave up halfway around and the voice control software accidentally triggered on numerous occasions. Hopefully, these early glitches will be sorted for customer cars. Volkswagen has also taken one step forwards and one step back when it comes to usability. The good bit is illuminating the touch sliders for the temperature and volume controls. In previous ID cars, they weren't lit up at all, so they were basically invisible at night. But the physical air vent controls have been removed, so instead of manipulating the vents manually, you now have to adjust the airflow via the infotainment screen or by using voice commands, both of which are convoluted and distracting methods while you're driving. But this is where things get seriously impressive. There are two batteries available with the ID7. The choice is between the ID7 Pro with 77 kilowatt hours or the ID7 Pro S with 86 kilowatt hours. If you go for the bigger battery, you'll get a whopping Tesla beating official range of 435 miles. Even the smaller battery goes 382 miles. Of course, in the real world, it will be much less than that, but these are still seriously impressive numbers. It beats not only the Model 3, but also the i4 and EQE. In fact, of all the electric cars on sale right now, it's only the £100,000 Mercedes EQS which can travel further on a full charge. The 77 kilowatt hour battery is the same one already used in the ID3, 4, 5 and the Buzz, but this is the first time the 86 kilowatt hour unit will be used on a VW car. 
As well as being VW's longest range EV, it will also be the fastest charging. Capable of topping up at 200 kilowatts, the car can also precondition the battery to try and get it in an optimal state to receive a fast charge while on your way to a charging stop. This feature only works when using the car's inbuilt sat-nav though. And while the charging rate is quick, this isn't the fastest out there. A Tesla can still top up at a higher rate. And it also has the huge benefit of getting access to Tesla's fantastic supercharger network. The ID7 will be at the mercy of other public charging stations, most of which are slower and far less reliable. At launch, both variants of the ID7 will get one electric motor driving the rear wheels. They'll use a newly developed motor and single speed gearbox claimed to boost efficiency and power delivery compared with the firm's current EVs. It's a substantially more potent unit than that used by any rear drive VW EV so far, bringing 282 brake horsepower and 402 pounds foot of torque to give 0 to 62 miles per hour in around six seconds in the quickest variant. Compared to the BMW i4 eDrive 40 with its 335 brake horsepower, you could argue the ID7 looks a little underpowered. But in reality, this will deliver enough performance for most drivers. And an even faster twin motor four wheel drive GTX version is expected to be launched later, which will give the ID7 a chance to get a little bit closer to the very impressive performance versions of the rivals that it's up against. A more practical estate version of this EV is expected to join the lineup as well. The ID7 will be launched in Europe and China in autumn this year, with the European cars being built in Germany. The car is set to launch in the US in 2024. Full pricing has not been announced, but it's been suggested that a starting price of around 50 to 55,000 pounds is expected. That would put it amongst the higher end versions of the incredibly impressive i4 and Model 3, but it would still be quite a bit cheaper than the EQE. So it faces some very tough competition, but with a long range and a practical interior, if the rest of the ID7 package delivers, then this could really shake up the electric car market. For more on the ID7 and everything else, go to whatcar.com. On our website, you can also browse through our list of amazing deals on every new car. Thanks for watching. Before you go, make sure you subscribe to our channel if you want to see our full review of the ID7 as soon as we've driven it. And tell us in the comments below if you would choose this new EV over a Model 3.